Yo guys, uh, what's going on? One by two, another video. Of course, we're here for the transfer video, as you've seen by the title of the video. You can also go down there, press the button, it goes blue, that's a like button. And uh, yeah, go drop a like on the video, subscribe. Yeah, so so close to 3k, it's actually crazy. Like, in the year 2020, if we can get to like four and a half thousand subscribers, that'd be a madness to hit 5k this year, would be crazy because that's like 2,000 subscribers more, but yeah. Like I said, people, go down there, hit the subscribe button, drop a like, check out social media, it's inside the description. Um, and um, and I wanted to run something past everybody quickly as well on the uh, on this video, because I know it's obviously regular watches. I want to start a podcast, I want to put it on the channel. How would you guys feel if I did do a sort of one sort of like, yeah, so I guess every single week do one sort of podcast a week on this channel. How would you guys feel? Comment down below, let me know. Um, but of course, transfers to the border. Also, apologies yesterday. Quickly, before we get into all these transfers in front of me, I have about five or four, yeah, five stories in front of me. Um, all coming out of the bullet today. So basically, apologies to anybody that wanted to comment on my video yesterday. Uh, I had a few sort of people messaging me saying, AJ, why can't we comment on your video? I didn't even have a clue that I was sort of disabled. Um, you know, the sort of comment section had been disabled by YouTube. I had no idea this had happened until I got told. Um, and yeah, I said, it's all sorted now, so comment away. Comment away. So basically, the bullet transfers, the first one coming out of it is Marcus Brown. He features a little bit for us, sent off at Swansea. That was kind of the nail in the coffin for him. When he did play, I think against Luton when he came on that free all, he took a man on, skinned him. He did all right. Since then, he never really did much. Let's be real. He didn't really do much. Just in the case of the butter, he put on the butter shirt. He gave it a go. He tried to play his football. He tried to play his football side of his team. It's not really worked out for him. You know what I mean? Young lad, he's been at West Ham for a while, bounced around a few clubs to be fair. Kids is a butter, he actually moved here for money as well. Um, you know what I mean? Actually, uh, a transfer fee was implied, it wasn't even on a free transfer, we did actually sign for money. Um, but unfortunately for him, it's not worked out. I say Swansea away, he got sent off. I mean, all kind of thought, ah, oh, do you know what it is? He's not actually that good, anyways. No offence to him, but he isn't actually that good, he doesn't really fit. The mould of the professional inside of our team. So yeah, Marcus Brown, he joined us from Oxford. It looks like, more than likely, he's going to go back to Oxford on loan um, until the end of the season. He's just never really done anything, has he? Ne you know what I mean? He's never really got himself going. Uh, but a uh, bit of a shame for him because, you know, it, Marcus Brown's got loads of potential. You know I mean, listen, there's a reason why he's a professional footballer. He must have something there. You know what I mean? Why he wouldn't be a professional footballer. But clearly, that one, that one or two things that he does got doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Our mode of our style of play, and unfortunately for him, Max Brown, he's going back where he came from. He's going back to Oxford um, till the end of the season. Um, but of course, further more on that story as soon as it comes out. And the whole West Ham Dan Randolph story, you know, a lot of Borough fans have had their opinion on this one now. They call him a bench warmer. A lot of people are saying that, uh, listen, I, listen, I completely understand when people, you know what I mean? When Borough fans are angry, the fact that Dan Randolph's going to leave the Borough because I'm good myself. I'm absolutely wounded by the fact that he wants to leave. But to leave to sit on the bench, Darren, I don't know about that one. I mean, I get money speaks and all this, but really, I mean, you're in a fan base that loves you up here. You were in you were in a team where about you were the first choice goalkeeper. And then, you know what I mean, you suddenly want to leave and make new relationships at West Ham and go and sit on the bench. I mean, listen, I know it's each to their own, but that didn't quite make sense to me. If you're a professional footballer, you're getting first team football regularly, literally every single week in the team. But then you want to go and leave and sit on the bench with somebody else. Then I don't quite understand it, but it may be going through and it might not be going through. There's like a 50 50 split. Um, basically, um, they're going to assess the hip injury of Darren Randolph, um, but they've said that the hope uh, isn't as serious enough to uh, obviously stop the deal from going through. Now, I see a little sort of sentence on uh, Facebook earlier. Um, David Moyes has apparently said, you know what I mean? Regardless of the injury, we're going to put it through and all this. And apparently, Randolph told Mick McCarthy, or Mick McCarthy told Randolph, oh, listen, I'm so, so pleased he's 100% fit. Was he ever injured? Is he actually injured now? Who knows? Or is it a money situation going on here? We don't know, but what we do know is that it's, I would say it's about 85% done that West Ham are going to sign down Randolph. It's it's everywhere. I've seen it on Twitter, different stories, what I've seen on sort of social media sites. By the story that I've seen on the other social media site, it looks like it's pretty much done and that Darren Randolph will become a West Ham player in the next couple of days, if not a week or so. The next one, British Song Belonga now, of course. He came to Butter a while ago. We paid £15 million pounds off not on a forest with British Song Belonga. We could be getting the £15 million pound back, which does interest me now. As much as he might give us 16 goals a season, if somebody's going to offer you £15 million pound for a championship striker, 
then it's hard to turn it down. And at the minute, Aston Villa, Wesley is out for the season. Um, so all they've got really got to play with right now is Jonathan Codger. And it doesn't sound like Dean Smith really wants to take Jonathan Codger on long term throughout the full season. And basically, Ryan to score the goals. He's looked at Butter. He's looked at Brits on Belonga. We've paid 15 million quid. Now, Jonathan Woodgate said that when Brits on Belonga is back to 100% fit, he has every single intention in obviously putting Britain in part of his plans. But he got £15 million pound offer there. Potentially, he isn't there yet, but potentially £15 million pound offer going onto the table. £15 million pound he goes, anything less he stays. That's what I would say because £15 million pound is a big number. And for any sort of player and any sort of team, you know what I mean, inside the championship, £15 million quid is a lot of money to play with. You sell Brits on Belong £15 million quid, and there's a potential two other players coming in the door. So, you know, I guess Blake again has been a good servant to the butter. You know, he's been here a fair few years. Um, I know last season, I know the likes of Cardiff were interested for a while, Celtic, Sheffield United. But now it looks like Aston Villa may just may go in for a transfer fee. What is his transfer fee, anyways? I don't really know what Brits on Belongers is, but 15 million quid is hard to turn down if it does come in, that kind of offer. Um, and also, Jordan Jones, who obviously came to Borough, I was just say, I think I'm pretty sure he came from the Borough Academy. Of course, Borough got rid of him years and years ago. Um, he went up to Scotland to kill Marnock, and then he got the dream move to Rangers under Stephen Gerrard. He hasn't really broke through first team football, really. He's an Northern Irish international. Um, <clears throat> but if he's allowed to go, then the Borough will go in for him. That is a, uh, sort of like latest news on the street uh, that I'm reading today. I think it was fresh out the news this morning or yesterday, so like last night sort of time. But yeah, Jordan Jones, I'm pretty sure I reported on last season as well. I think Borough was sort of lingering around his name last year before he went to Rangers. Well, like I say, we could be getting Jordan Ro Jordan Jones or Jordan Rose, Jordan Jones back. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's going to be a loan. I don't know if it's going to be a sort of payable transfer. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. But very, very small details coming out at the minute. But like, like I say, that's the only detail at the minute is that if he's allowed to go from Rangers to any other club, Borough are definitely going to be interested in him. So interesting story to keep uh, up to date with there. And the last one is uh, Jed Spence. I love Jed Spence, my guy. He, he's an absolutely class player. He's got so much potential coming out of him. It's absolutely unreal. It's such a, I think he's, what, he's now 19 years old, but he's got so much potential, honestly. I hope, as I said, Jose Mourinho wants him to go to Tottenham. Apparently, he's a big, big, big admirer of Jed Spence. And, of course, um, you know he praised him after Borough played Tottenham on um, Sunday afternoon. And when Tottenham Hotspur come a calling and you're in the championship playing for Middlesbrough, it's a bit hard to say, oh no, you're alright actually. So, you know, I think he's from London. I think Jed Spence is from London. He's got family in London as well. So when you've got a team from London coming as big as what Tottenham Hotspur are and you're playing up north and your family's down south, you know, I mean, close to where I was Tottenham training and whatnot and close to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, then it's the home sit kicks back in. Will he go, will he not? Who knows? But, you know, you know yourself that, like, listen, if you're miles away as a footballer and your family's pretty much close to where that club's coming into you from. Nine times out of ten you've got to go back to see your family, your home sick, you wanna go back to see them and obviously get a move to Tottenham, which is obviously a massive club as well. So they are the latest transfer of the rumours coming out of Buddha. If you know any more, hit me up on any sort of social media, my Facebook inside the description, Instagram same again and my Twitter's down there as well. Or just simply comment in the video, any sort of transfer rumours or sort of news that you have. And like I say if you want me to um shout it out and shout out your name inside the next uh, transfer video, then pretty simple already just let me know and i will do that for you but yeah as always social media is inside the description please do subscribe we are so 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 close 2.7k not to mention um 3,000 subscribers which is actually going to be a madness as soon as we hit that one but yeah people as always like comment share and subscribe see you again soon oh bye bye